In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a horizontal drop-down menu and apply formatting on it with the help of CSS styling. First of all, we have opened up the div tag over here, just after the body tag, and gave it an ID. This is our main div, which will contain all the elements. After that, we will open up an unordered list tag, and after that, let's open up the list tag to define its members. We will insert the hyperlink tag over here, which is called an anchor tag. Then after this, we will write the heading for the first list. As this would act as the parent category, let's define it as main category 1. After that, let's open up an unordered list tag again, and then define the child members for the main category, in the same manner as we did earlier. This list will be considered as the subcategories for our main menu. With that done, we will follow the same pattern to make another category in our drop-down menu. Now let's add the CSS styling on our menu. For that, open up the style tag beneath the HTML header and assign text slash CSS in style type. Now describe the working of the classes, starting with the very first class we used, the global-nav class. This class is responsible for the main look of the menu. We have set its width at 135 pixels, with left as its default position along with a background color. After that, let's define the effects of the anchor tag. In this class, we are actually describing the effect of all the anchor tags inside the global nav class and specifying it a particular color, with a cursor type as pointer and setting its alignment as well. With that done, the effect of the main menu's contents is described in the global nav UL class. The background color is specified as white smoke, along with zero in padding and margins. Next, we have defined the sub-navigation menu class. This class will be responsible for the effect of the sub-menu. We are using gray as a background color and aligning it with 80 for the left side and minus 20 pixels for the top. After that, the borders of the list elements are defined in the global nav li class. Next, we are defining the li class, which refers to the inner elements of the main menu. Over here, we are setting its display as none by default. This means that the effect will be applied on the li, which is inside an unordered list, which is nested inside another unordered list that can be found in global nav class. Next, we will work on the hover effect, which will be defined here in which we have specified the color, which would be changed once the mouse hovers over the option. Lastly, the display of list elements is defined as blocks, so that they will be displayed in separate segments. After all this, let's save the HTML document and open up the file in the browser. Let's hover over the main menu, and you will observe the child categories floating out. Next, let's hover over the child categories, and you will observe that the color changes, exactly like we had specified in CSS. And that's it.